Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2343 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we'll be exploring Proverbs chapter 30 verses 1 through 9 from the New Living Translation. In these verses we'll uncover insights into the pursuit of wisdom, the dangers of arrogance, and the importance of relying on God's Word for guidance. So let's not delay any further. Let's dive into Proverbs, verses 1 through 3. The sayings of Agar, son of J.K., contains these messages. I am weary, O God. I am weary and worn out, O God. I am too stupid to be a human, and I lack common sense. I have not mastered human wisdom, nor do I know the Holy One. These verses express Argus' humility and recognition of his limitations and understanding. How can we understand the importance of humility in seeking wisdom? Like Agar, recognize the importance of humility in the pursuit of wisdom. Humility acknowledges our limitations and dependence on God for understanding. Embrace the posture of humility before God, acknowledging our needs for His guidance and wisdom. Seek wisdom not from human sources alone, but also from God's Word which is the ultimate source of wisdom and understanding. Recognize that true wisdom comes from acknowledging our limitations and seeking God's guidance in all aspects of life. Now let's explore verses 4 and 5. Who but God goes up to heaven and comes back down? Who holds the wind in his fist? Who wraps up the oceans in his cloak? Who has created the whole wide world? What is his name and his son's name? Tell me if you know. These verses highlight the greatness and the sovereignty of God. How can we understand the greatness and sovereignty of God in our relationship in our pursuit of wisdom? We need to reflect on the greatness and sovereignty of God who holds the entire universe into His hands. Recognize that God alone has the power and authority to govern all the heavens and the earth. Acknowledge God's role as the creator and the sustainer of all things, including the laws that govern the natural world. Trust in God's wisdom and guidance, knowing that He alone has the answers to life's most profound questions. Seek to know God more intimately through His Word and His Son, Jesus Christ, who reveals the fullness of God's wisdom and love. And finally, let's turn our attention to verses 6 through 9. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to all who come to Him for protection. Do not add to His words, or He may rebuke you and expose you as a liar. O God, I beg you two favors from you. Let me have them before I die. First, help me to never tell a lie. Second, give me neither poverty or riches. Give me just enough to satisfy my needs. These verses emphasize God's word, trustworthiness, and contentment's importance. How can we understand God's words, the trustworthiness, and contentment's significance? We need to trust the reality and truthfulness of God's word, which serves as a shield of protection for all those who seek refuge in Him. Avoid distorting or adding to God's word, knowing that it leads to deception and falsehood. Pray for wisdom and discernment to live a life of integrity and honesty, free from the temptations to lie and deceive others. Seek contentment in God's provision, knowing that true satisfaction comes from trusting His provisions and not material wealth. Pray for moderation and balance in all areas of life, asking God to provide you just enough to meet your needs, neither poverty nor riches, so that you may live a life of contentment and gratitude. And there you have it, my friends. Insights from Proverbs chapter 30, verses 1-9. through nine. These verses offer us timeless wisdom for embracing humility and seeking wisdom, acknowledging God's sovereignty, trusting in His Word, and seeking contentment in His provisions. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, let's remember to apply the timeless principles to our daily lives. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom and make it part of your daily trek. If you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day 
every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.